2013 here today. Today is Saturday, July 8th, 2017. Uh, we're putting up, we're harvesting our wheat crop. Uh, first field here, 30 acre patch. Um, right now, as you can see, I'm taking it down with the 2360 John Deere self propelled windrower uh, with a draper head on it. Dad's over there with the 9400 combine and our 14 foot seven belt John Deere pickup head. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of going. It's the first year we planted wheat since uh, I want to say 20. Uh, I want to say 2010, 2011 maybe. So this is our first wheat crop we've had first wheat we've grown since then. Um, taking a full swat here. He's eating her up pretty good over there. Got to make sure I don't miss any. Whoop. I'm running, this, running the windrower. This uh, machine is kept for just this purpose, keeping uh, for taking down wheat notes. Um, otherwise, we don't. Uh, we have a New Holland self-propelled windrower with a haybind head on it. Um, that works better for taking down grass and alfalfa. This was originally used to take down alfalfa, but it was so it's so wore out that it it uh, well it, it just got retired to this job. Um, it shakes and shimmies some some fears, but uh, uh, we we don't have the crimper. It has a crimper, a metal crimper that would go underneath the throat down where the wheat's following through. Um, but the crimper is not on, obviously, otherwise the wind roll wouldn't be so fluffy. Um, and of course that would be stupid because you would thrash the weed out. So, yep, just taking down the weed. And our air conditioner usually works in this thing, but we're low on Freon, so I'm running with the door open. And a window. So it's kind of hot in here. Which is, normally this is the Cadillac with the, cat, with the, with the air conditioner unit because the air conditioner will usually make it so you're, you're freezing here but like I said we haven't run it since last year for oats and uh, the air the Freon leaked out a little bit or something and so it needs it's low on Freon so but I've talked for almost three minutes got the pickup over there with a water tank just in case we were to spark a fire we got about an eight or nine hundred gallon tank over there just to, so we kind of have something to, if we were to have something small spark, we get the truck, and then Dad's running the 9400 combine, like I said, and I'm running the old wind rower, canvases. So, there he comes. Just back and forth. That's it. That's what we're doing today. I thought I'd make a video. It would be good. I'd probably better grab the GoPro camera uh, tomorrow, or uh, not tomorrow, but Monday when we finish this, and then I'll grab it for the oats and wheat takedown. So, other than that, that's what we're doing today. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a little bit of different view to right now. Dad decided that he wanted to finish cutting with the wind rower, so he let me run the com let me run the combine. About 3.5 mile an hour. You can see it. Yeah. The phone won't focus on it. 3.5 mile an hour. I'm running through some wheat. First time I've ever combined wheat. Listen to a little John or a little uh, John Denver. So thought I'd take a little video of that because I hey that that's pretty cool. No, there he is. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. So, I'm running combine. I got upgraded, I guess. I mean, he must trust me. So, there, it's starting to come in there. There we are. There we go. Combining some wheat.